forsake me for my faults. Don't, don't, don't abandon me because I didn't do all right. Prophet Desmond, are you listening to me? I want you to stay with me because you are my spiritual daughter. Every time I don't see your face, I'm, I'm praying in the Holy Ghost. Look at the name and say, ay, 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 ay. this 
supply seed to the sower and bread for food, we supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. Level. You will be enriched in every way to be generous in every way. Which through us we produce thanksgiving to God. I, 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 I really want you to know that whatever you have today and whatever is in your wallet today, the many houses that we have acquired, the many cars, and the many clothing, the many shoes, the many wristwatches, and some of them are ladies, are, are all kinds of expensive, and Gucci, and Lima Marcos, all of it.
make things easier for you. All these humongous bills that we are paying, God said, I will help you pay off what you owe. Hey, Thank you, Thank you. I was in France, but this lady was giving a testimony. She said, I, she, I just can't find the service. I, you know, I, my first time of meeting her, she said, uh, you know, Bishop Solomon, I, 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 I just want to say that, you know, my debt, she said, you owe the debt of how many thousand? She said, all of a sudden, that
been through a lot of problems that we thought those problems were going to kill us. But God brought you out of every of those calamities. You can never forget what God has done for us. Oh, my. 
by your food automatically is consecrated. And when you eat it, it will nourish your body. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I don't know if you're following me, following me this morning. The power of thanksgiving. He said, for, for everything God created is good. Why do you call it bad? Why would you call hamburger bad? Hamburger is a good food. <laughs> French fries is a good food. <laughs> and Burger King is good food. <laughs> McDonald's is good food. I mean, don't eat it in excess. <laughs> but pray over it. Once you pray over it and thank God who supplied it, if you eat it, I can guarantee you, no more shock. Hallelujah. It, the food will be consecrated because the word of God is involving it. Psalms 106 verse 1. The spirit of thanksgiving. I sense that spirit right now even in this auditorium this morning. And that spirit of thanksgiving is going to is going to carry us into this November. Yes, Lord. When you, you, people are going to be going to gather together and, and thanking God, just praising God after October, November. I'm going to get ahead of myself. Psalms 106, verse 1. It says, Praise the Lord, number one. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. preach a message on Friday night from Joel chapter 3 verse uh, verse 10. He said, beat, beat your plowing shares yes, into, into swords yes. and your pruning yes. hooks into stairs. Oh. He said, let the weak say I'm strong. Let the poor say, I'm rich. Let the weak say, I'm strong. So we're in a season right now where no matter what it is, you got to get up by yourself and push something by what is in your hand. Use your gift, use your mouth, you praise the Lord when you don't feel like. Get up, go to church when you don't feel like. You know, go on your knees and talk to God when you don't feel like. That's how we're going to win this victory. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. It says, praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Mm. Always remember that the Lord is good. I'm not good, but the Lord has served. The God has served is good. Amen. I'm not perfect, but the God has served is perfect. I can't help you all the way, but I, we have a God who can help us all the way. Amen. He will never abandon you. Amen. He will never forsake you. Amen. No matter how bad you are, no matter how bad your record is, God, when you cry unto him, he pick you up. Amen. He's glad that you are back home. Yes, Lord. Amen. So, yeah, so the prodigal son. The father was so glad that the son came home. Amen. Yeah. And the first son wouldn't even understand why the father would have to, uh, you know, give this whole festival or feast Amen. to celebrate it to the junior boy brother who went out and squandered all his money. For he is good, his love endures forever. Yes, Lord. We are committed to God today. We are committed to Jesus Christ today because when he came here, he showed so much love. He showed us so much love and compassion. Yes. There was a multitude of 5,000 men, yes. John chapter 6, yes. that he had to, he fed them with five loaves of bread and two fish. Yes. There's no condition that you are right now that God can bring you through. Yes. All we have to do is learn how to praise him. Yes. Learn how to give him thanks. Because his love endures forever. Wow. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. Hebrews 13, 15. The spirit of thanksgiving. I see many people. 
to serve God halfway and they quit. I've seen a lot of pastors that are no longer preaching because they are so discouraged because they feel like God was not there for them. The reason why people quit in the middle of what they are doing is because they, they have not, the spirit of thanksgiving has not sunk into their spirit. So always remember that when you are about to give up, look back and see where you'll be coming from. See all the, the, the rescues and the healings and the breakthrough when everything was almost about to just go out of your life. God came through through somebody. He used somebody. Lift your hands up and I'm sensing something in this house. Yes, yes. Divine favor. Jesus. Look at the number say divine favor. divine favor. Say divine favor. Divine favor. This, week, this week that God, God. we have God will set somebody God. to remember me. Remember me. Is this week yes. starting from right now? Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. Divine, favor. divine favor. Amen. So, so, so that, that attitude always helps us to be thankful. Amen. Knowing that we've been through rough times. There was a time I couldn't even afford a piece, we couldn't afford a piece of chicken. Mm. It had to be during festivals. Go, go. 
don't want you to holler because hollering, remember the right exam. Uh, the spirit of holler, the word holler it, it is, is to, to shout louder yeah. in Hebrew. Yeah. So when you holler, the, it, it, it shuts the kingdom of the enemy down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He don't like knowing. No. I was in Africa one some years back. This how they were crying all over, all over my compound. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. And I just, I just opened the window. I opened the window. That middle of the night, no lie, till the clock in the morning. I said, hey! Hallelujah! I said, hey! Glory to God. But I said, middle of the night, I said, hey, hey, look here, look here, look here. Stop, 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 stop. Amen. I said, I am in this city Amen. by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm a man of God chosen. I said, I know who you are. I was telling you. I said, I, 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 said, I know who you are. I opened this up. I said, I know who you are. If you don't shut up now and, and, and go back to your house and lay down while everybody is asleep, I said, I will come to, I will, I will bring five elders in this city to come and knock for your door. Come on, here. And we will pull you out. Out of your belly 
Men shall flow.
coming there to come and hurt me. No, it wasn't purposefully to hurt you. It was, it was to uh, 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 teach you something. Either to teach you how to fight or how to fend for yourself, or teaching you in preparation for another dimension in him. Mm -hmm. If you have to be a lawyer, you have to go to school and pass every test. James chapter 1, verse 2. We say, count it as pure joy eh? mm -hmm. when you face diverse temptations of many kinds. Mm -hmm. For the trying of your faith work at patience. Mm -hmm. So that at the end, you will have maturity. You become mature. Yeah. That's why we go through tests. Don't see it as somebody abandoned you. Don't see it as God hates you. God can, God can allow a situation to have somebody oppose you. Don't see it as you know, um, it's a punishment. That's why the scripture says, I was glad that I, I was afflicted. That scripture bothers me for many years. I said, how, how do you want me to be happy? That I have to go through. I don't want affliction. Nobody wants to go through any affliction. It's painful to go through an affliction. It's painful to go through that to diagnose you of. It's, it's painful to be sick. It's painful that don't have you don't have money in your wallet. I, I really want to kill me but I really want to eat uh, um, um, salmon. I, I, I can't I can't afford to buy salmon. Psalm 66, verse 12. I'm, I'm trying to close. Give me like five minutes. 
Psalm 66, verse 12. Psalm 66, verse 12. Psalm 66, verse 12. Thank God for this young lady. She's very good in technology. So put that thing up before we even look at it. That thing is up. I know by the Holy Ghost. See what I'm saying right now. I'm almost done. He says, he says, he says, he says, thou has caused me to ride. So God has caused men to ride over our head. We've been through storm and we've been through rain. He said, but again, God now is bringing us out into our wealthy place. Abundance is it has been released. The spirit of abundance is released in this service, and those who are watching right now is because we've been through storm and we've been through rain. Stand on your feet, and God now is bringing us out into our wealthy place. So from this service, we are leaving this service wealthy. Amen. Oh, you're not saying amen. amen. You're not saying amen. amen. God don't bless people who have not been through. Remember that. God will never trust you with millions. He will never trust you with positions like governors or president or being a preacher if you have not been through. God always look for people who have been through and they learn how to overcome. And they didn't back up because everybody else is backing up. They didn't quit because everybody else is quitting. No, they stayed with God to the end. That's what Joshua did. And Joshua, God trusted Joshua to lead over two million people to the promised land. Lift your hands up. You can read Exodus 15 when you go home. Thanksgiving. Pharaoh ran after the children of Israel. And the Red Sea was parted into two. side of the sea. And every pharaoh and, and his army, best army that were chosen to pursue the Israelites, mm. they were all swept into the water. Mm. And then when they came on the other side, and they began to thank God. From, from one, Exodus 15, 1 to 6 or 7 verse. That because of Armenian, the sister the tambourine and they hit the street and they began to praise God. Lift your hands up right now. I want you to open your mouth and begin to thank God for all you have done. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God has been so good to us. Live here with the spirit of thanksgiving. Don't live here depressed. Don't live here confused. Don't live here that God has abandoned you. See what you are going through as God allowed it. For, 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 for his own purpose. Yeah. In the next few months, you will, you, will, you will know why God has allowed you to go through what you are going through. Don't see it as that God has been doing this for you, has been doing this for you, why you allow this. No. Don't ask God why, why you allow this. Thank God for allowing it. Because God has a, 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 a promotional dimension. Yes, another upgrade is taking you. Uh -huh. But he wants to make sure that you are you are steadfast, that he can trust you. God always looks for people he can trust in a situation. He creates a situation to see if he can trust you, to see if you are going to stand or, or back up. That's why he let us go through what we go through. It's not to punish you. It's not to make you, it's not to make you feel bad. People may be talking yes, about you, Lord. laughing at you. Don't worry about what people you say. Amazing, you never worry Thank about you, people. Lady Oko, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Don't worry about people. Yes. It's a personal situation. Yes. God loves you so much that He yes. let, he yes. let yes. us yes. suffer. Jesus. God will let you yes. suffer. Yes. Philippians 3:10. Paul said, My determined purpose is yes. that I may know Him. Why he was still in prison. Mm -hmm. That I might become progressively acquainted with him. Mm -hmm. That I we 
partake of the fellowship of his suffering yeah, Lord. and the power of his resurrection. Mm -hmm. We need more from God. The more we suffer, the more we need more, the that's more we right. hunger. The more you suffer, that's the more you hunger. Don't keep talking and keep complaining and keep murmuring and calling everybody, oh, see where I am. No, 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 keep your mouth shut. Just see what you're going through as a test of faith. See it as a, a next promotion that is about to meet your life. See it as some, something powerful is about to happen. Father, we thank you for what we have here today. I pray healing. I pray a breakthrough. I pray supernatural uh, yes. opportunities for everyone in this house. Mm -hmm.